Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, the cascading drop-down uh, in um, .NET Core using uh, jQuery Ajax and let me show you how it's working here so uh, for example um, I'm using a different department and uh, it's going to show me the devices related to these uh, to this uh, department okay and uh, when I select the uh, required device it's going to give me the module okay and now um, I'm going to show you my table have a look at this table so uh, this this is uh, these are the three tables okay so this is the department list and um, department one is related to DMS uh, in the tool and uh, DMS is related to IT DMS module one uh, that's the tool ID in uh, modules okay so if I'm selecting IT desk it would show me DMS in the uh, in the tool and devices and if I'm selecting DMS if DMS is selected uh, it's going to show me IT DMS mod 1 okay and uh, vice versa if I'm going to select customer care number 2 it's going to show me SFA and uh, in the module uh, it's going to show me CC SFA okay so um, uh, let's let's have a look at it once again so you can see uh, if I'm selecting finance it's it's going to show me nothing okay it has nothing it if I'm sure if I'm selecting uh, networking it's gonna show me nothing but if I'm selecting IT desk it's gonna sh show me DMS and nothing in the module so unless DMS is selected module has nothing okay so uh, if I'm going to select uh, customer care module has nothing as device is not selected if I'm selecting SFA it's going to show me the CC SFA module one okay now what happens if we have uh, two devices of the same name nothing will happen it will work perfectly fine why because we are taking the ID and not the name of the device okay so for example this um, IT desk has a DMS tool and uh, the finance has a DMS tool okay so how is it going to work let's change our tables accordingly okay let's change our table so uh, in the tool device I'm going to put another DMS and I'm going to assign it to department finance so finance is how much fifth and accordingly we will also use a module uh, we will also have a module so for example uh, this one is going to be finance should be fi underscore DMS module 1 and it is related to device ID 3 okay so now we have two DMS okay let's see refreshed so I'm going to see networking nothing in networking I'm going to select finance I again got DMS so now you can see that finance has a DMS and IT desk also has a DMS but the module will be different for the same device for IT desk it's gonna give me IT DMS mod 1 and for finance it's going to give me fin DMS mod 1 why because it's picking up the ID not the name it's picking up the ID so here DMS is using fifth and finance module is using uh, device ID 3 okay 
so for example if if you are using this kind of uh, example in case of your country state and a city so we can have same state names in case of countries okay in case of uh, different countries so for example uh, we have um, um, a Lahore in uh, Pakistan and uh, we we have a Punjab in Pakistan and uh, we have a Punjab in um, India okay uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I, I couldn't remember uh, there is a city that is ha that has the same name in Pakistan and uh, has the same name in uh, India so we have couple of places wherein there there would be a different uh, state but same city name or there would be um, a different country but um, would have a uh, same state name in that case uh, this thing is going to work give me a second please so uh, that was all we saw like um, uh, so using a uh, different departments but even if we have a same uh, device or a tool name it's still uh, using the different module because of the IDs that we are using not because of the name so even if you are using the same thing enough in case of a country state and a city you can also have multiple states or multiple cities of the same name and st it will still work fine okay so let's uh, go ahead to the program and have a look at it so um, this is the uh, design view uh, the the razor view so you can see that uh, I'm, I'm using select class because I feel comfortable using HTML controls so it gives me more um, authority like I have more uh, control over the HTML uh, tags so when using a jQuery instead of using the ASP tags I prefer these ones so you can see that uh, we use the default option select in in three of those drop downs however for the first one I'm, I'm uh, using a view bag to fetch the data from the controller and for the remaining two we are using jQuery I'm gonna show you what uh, functions we are using here so inside the document uh, so I'm assuming that you have jQuery set up on your program because if you are going to run a uh, new .NET Core project uh, jQuery is there by default otherwise if you are using um, MVC or if you want to set that up yourself you have to uh, download jQuery and you have to uh, put it in the uh, you have to put it in the uh, script uh, there is a jQuery folder uh, you can add it there in your um, wait I'll show you yeah there is a JS okay you can put the the JS file here and uh, you can put the path uh, you can link the path to your uh, layouts okay so for example if we are looking at the shared layout I have this one is the default dot net core layout and uh, it should have the scripts linked in here you can see this it's it's inside the library lib the library folder there is a jQuery and jQuery min.js and bootstrap is all used here so in order to use the scripts inside your razor pages you have to mention this one uh, with the render section is saying scripts required it's not a required thing but you have to mention that in your uh, layout so that you can use it in your CS HTML or the razor view files now inside the script tag I'm using the functions that are required so department is uh, the control the drop-down control for um, the department thing and now when I'm selecting the drop-down uh, department I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, removing everything from the issue with um, tag uh, from the issue with drop-down and from the module drop-downs I'm, I'm uh, removing everything and adding this option uh, the select uh, option to the uh, to the first uh, option of the first item okay and then I'm calling this uh, this is the Ajax call that I'm making here and uh, this is uh, a get call to the user controller tool devices so if we are going to the user controller <coughs> here is the tool device and here is the module section so what I'm going here what I'm doing here is ID is already fetched from from the um, <coughs> uh, from the jQuery and uh, 
these are simple JSON result um, methods. So it's it's returning JSON result only, and in in a variable named tools, I'm calling my table where the department ID is equal to uh, the ID that we sent. <coughs> okay, so uh, from the tools department's ID, this one should match with uh, this ID that we are sending, and it's giving me data accordingly and then we are using that data in the um, razor page okay so you can note this down uh, the result is fetched here and the row is the uh, data that we are uh, using in the options okay same thing same type of uh, function in uh, uh, module we are using the same thing in the module just changed uh, made some changes to the controller action and uh, the uh, column names okay so if we are going to have a look at the jquery stuff here and see i'm making a small change in the department so let's say customer care see it's going to hitting the debugger and then it's uh, doing its stuff uh, wait I had the stops where is it okay first of all it uh, cleared all the contents from the drop downs and then it uh, added the select device and select module thing then it's trying to fetch that uh, yeah it's already f it uh, it has already fetched that from uh, our controller and now it has it this the result in the result uh, variable okay so now we will uh, in using this row the second variable uh, and the id it's there okay it's uh, let's remove the breakpoints I would have shown you that now let's select the tool issue width is changed now ID is 2 now you can see the result is fetched already and we have uh, you can see this the row it has the module name in it and the ID is already there so this is which is uh, binding into the drop down so this so that's that's the working thing that we have uh, here if you want to have a look at the code again so this is the code here and if you want to have a look at the controller section I can show you the controller section as well so nothing much in the controller section just uh, JSON results and uh, we are fetching the table data in the JSON result and returning it. Okay, so that was all for this video, guys. Uh, we will be having um, new videos. We will be having new videos in the future. And stay tuned and um, happy coding. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.